Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this. A pentagonal lamina of sides 25 mm is having a side both on HP and VP. The surface of the lamina is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with HP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. Now for which go for a line command with respect to uh, a thickness of uh, 0 0.13 one has to construct an xy line and after constructing an xy line the end points of a line will be marked as x as well as y and then vp hp will be represented above the xy line and below the xy line to make sure that it is going to be drawn in the first angle projection and then pentagon has to be constructed in such a way that it is resting on one of its edges on hp and the same edge is also in vp according to the given condition and then the surface is inclined to HP at an angle of 60 degree. Then go to applications, macros, run macro, select the inside polygon. The inside polygon is available here in C program, program files, solid edge V19, custom, inside polygon, bin. And in the bin, once again you will find inside polygon. It is a macro. Just open the macro, a dialog box is going to be opened. Select the flat length as an option and since the size of the pentagon is given as 25 millimeters at the flat length as per 25 and since the pentagon is having five sides click on the apply relationship and press the left click on the screen anywhere so that a pentagon is going to be appear then the thickness of the pentagon has to be changed to 0.5 millimeter and locate the pentagon wherever it is required and after which one has to draw the front view using a line command with a thickness of 0.13 draw the projectors from the respective corners till the xy line to draw the front view now after this after drawing all these things then make use of a smart dimension command show that this dimension is 25 millimeter and using a line command with the a thickness of 0.5 millimeter from the end point of this line to end point of this line end point of this line to end point of this line that is nothing but splitting the front view and drawing the two different lines then make use of the text command and name the respective corners and this corner as a this corner as b this corner as c and d and finally this is going to be e accordingly in the front view this is going to be b dash as well as a dash and then c dash as well as e dash and then d dash and then the front view is inclined at 60 degree to hp so select the front view and then make use of move command move the front view with respect to b dash and a dash and reposition it on the xy line with the help of point on element symbol then go to a rotate command select b dash as a fixed point and d dash as a rotating point and the rotation angle is given as 60 degree and go for rotate command and then completed then make use of angle between command show that the angle between these two lines are 60 degree then make use of a line command with 0.13 as a thickness draw the projectors now d dash will be connected to d and then d is going to be completed and after which to get c and e we have splitted the line so that's why we are getting the end point symbol now c will be connected to c and along with c we have e so one can connect the e also then the remaining is a b now make use of the end point symbol here connect to b to b and along with b we have a and then let us connect a to a and then using the text command name the respective corners as a b c d and then e then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter then draw a line from a to b as a dark line and b to c c to d d to e and back to a now this completes the construction of second stage when the lamina is inclined at 60 degree to hp and after drawing these things the side which is on hp is also in vp that is ab is on hp now ab is supposed to be in vp now ab is perpendicular to vp make it parallel and bring it on the xy line so for which one has to select the front view completely sorry top view completely then make use of a line command select a as a reference point a should be positioned on the xy line 
and then make use of rotate command and rotate in such a way that A is on the XY line, B is going to be on the XY line like this. Then the points B and A should be below the XY line because it is going to represent the top view. The top view will be drawn in HP. Then make use of a line command with respect to 0 0.13 as a thickness. Join the lines for the projectors. Join the draw, draw the projectors to get the uh, respective corners that is A, B, C, D, E in the front view. And then now D is going to be projected here. And after which now one can see that A, B is on the X, Y line itself. Then make use of a text command and this corner is going to be A dash. This corner is going to be B dash and this is going to be c dash and here it will be d dash and this is going to be a dash then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join a dash to b dash and then b dash to c dash c dash to d dash d dash to e dash e dash to a dash now this completes the projection of plane surfaces which is as per the given conditions now if you are having any doubts you can feel free to contact me at the number provided and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video to more number of engineering students in the first year and which will encourage me to create more and more videos thank you guys